Oh, hey. New scan of all things. Uh, um, can you stand still, please? Thank you. Uh, this should... No, I'm thinking of a different area. And... Welcome! To... Wait for it. Aegon Waste. The desert area of this planet. And it just pans camera to where we need to go, so it, it's been nice to give you a hint where you need to go. And, oh, hey, uh, what's your name? Sand Digger. Wait, wait, wait. Is it pronounced Sand Igger or Sand Digger? Because, um, you can't really call it Sand Digger since it needs two D's in the name if it's going to be called that. So either it is Sand Igger or Sand Digger. Okay, enough being silly. Let's, let's just kill this thing. No matter what it's going to be called, they are dying the same. There we go. Um, uh, I can go on for a little bit longer. Um. There's a safe station right through here, if you need to be saving. Right there. I'm just going in there so I have the location marked on my map in case I... And then because uh, it's actually good to like explore and corrupt all the maps, even if uh, uh, you get like... Ew! Don't throw your green goo at me. Anyway, as I was trying to explain, uh, exploration is a good thing. That's always a good thing in games. Like I've been saying every goddamn let's play that I've done, exploration is a good thing. Always explore. If the game tells you to go left, you go right. If the game tells you to go up, you go down. Unless down leads you to a bottomless hole where you die, then you should probably obey the game as well. Essentially, what I mean is, so if if it, if it's a, if the game gives you like the multiple uh, the choices uh, on a road thing, go to the areas where the game tells. If the game tells you to go one way and there's three ways, okay, uh, let me rephrase that. If you see three different paths, and the game tells you, oh, go the middle one. You are not, the first thing you are going to think is probably, okay, then I'm going the middle. That is wrong. The very first thing you should be thinking is, okay, I'm gonna go left, then I'm gonna go right, then I go in the middle. Because chances are, if you go out of your way to the left and right, you will recover extra goodies or maybe even hit a weapon that uh, you were supposed to be getting at a, at a later time. Uh, in short, explore! Do you know what it is, motherfucker? Also, oh, oh goddammit, I can't access that. <sighs> that is one of those, uh, I know there's an item there, but I can't access it moments. Which I hate. Okay, those boxes can good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. As if the ink wasn't enough to be dealing with. I had to deal with the space pirates. Well, the log that the, the video recording that we saw that the command of the Federation troopers and landed here did. They did say they were chasing pirates down here. But the, but the thing is, what was the pirates doing here? Because if they were seen in this section, that, that means that they found. Don't tell me that it's the base on there after. Because we saw Dark Samus uh, so you, the absorbing face on, so. Uh, 
It saves us soon. The space pirates are after the goddamn face on. Face on, face on, face on, wherever I go. Can I? Can I get some peace and quiet from that, please? Like, just once? I mean, I would love to go to a planet where I don't have to deal with that blue. where uh, blue stuff. Ah. What's next? What's next? I'm gonna go to a planet that. the. Is only uh, pure face on, and that there has the song "I'm Blue" W D W guy playing all day long. Okay, that was a terrible joke, and I should be feel bad about it. Ha! Small people around my reference. Thank you very much. Uh. Oh no! Not this! I hate this. What? Uh. Yeah, we have a boss fight coming, and uh, we have Alpha San figure right here, and out. And okay, I think I only shoot it once in order to figure this. But here we have a ink that is going to uh, take over this thing, and this is called Bomb Guardian, and. As you see, it's used. Yeah, it says here, enemies use like your morpho, the bomb unit. So, this is one of the inks that absorb our morpho. So, uh, the, what you need to do for this boss is attack the tail when it's glowing, and when it's glowing like that, you just attack the mouth, and here we go. And whoop. And this boss can be annoying the fact that uh, it will only glow when it glowing its tail is moving around and dropping bombs behind it, which means that uh, the up the Jesus Christ, can you stand still? Which means that uh, when it drops uh, the the bombs behind it, it means that it gets more damage. I'm not saying the boss is hard. I'm just kind of trying to explain that the boss is annoying. There's kind of a difference between hard and annoying. Hard is when the boss is actually trying you know, to your patience and actually like doing huge damage to you, which requires you to do uh, the battle multiple times. Annoying just means that it will just do attacks that just deal small damage and that makes it like longer to uh, the beat. Like, you can beat it on your first try, on your very first try when you first play through the game, but uh, it's gonna take a while then you are just gonna deal with the tedious fact that... Okay. There we go. It's done. No need to explain it anymore, just the giving back my Morphal already. Yay, I got a credit. Jesus Christ, I noticed that I'm talking really much too fast this episode. It might have something to do with me have not the recording anything for a very long time. Like, I think last time I recorded was in November 2014 or something. Yeah, today is uh, January 9th, 2015. Just stating, just putting a date on this recording. But anyway, we got the Morphal Bomb, finally, which means we will be able to do all the hopper the hop thing. So we are... So essentially we are going to the temple's uh, energy control room. But, oh shit, I spoiled something. Yeah, but... On the other hand, we're just one room away from it, so... It's not like you're not going this not really a spoiler if you not really a spoiler if you're going to be seeing it in like a couple of seconds. Like here we are. Here it is um Where are you? Oh you're behind. So you're gonna see these and yeah just just activate these and it will fail hologram. 
Time for Candy's bad voice acting thing again. <clears throat> Welcome, I am Isha, sentinel of the Aegon Temple. This message survives my death as guidance to one who will fight the Inu. A, a portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land's shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of this sacred place. Inside, you will find the energy controller you seek. The temple door is held fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout that dark land. Your search will be difficult. Even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous and can cripple the strongest of warriors. In our past struggles with the Ing, we placed a series of light crystals throughout the world. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that will protect you from this harmful atmosphere of the dark world. I have updated your transfer translator module. You can access devices and doors coated with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. Well, thank you for that. When you have taken the energy from the Dark Temple, return here at once. May the Light of Aether serve you well. Okay, nice of the hologram to update my uh, translator module. So now we can go through doors with orange uh, stuff. Also, um, you people should probably yell at me if you want me to stop doing this awful awful uh, voiceover thing because I will do it if you tell me to stop it I mean it I mean I just want to try it out but if like the you know, majority of the people are saying yeah oh god my ears why are you doing this horrible voiceover then I probably will be forced to stop I was gone from this area for two minutes and warm rasp already is forming the place. Uh, Alright, I forgot to scan. You. Shrink bats! You remember these from Remember the Prime 1? They are here in a different form. These are the suicide bombers of uh, this game. And I better not see any comments uh, about the, that one thing with suicide bombers. You know in which one. Especially not the flying type. Uh, also, uh, now that we can open these uh, M doors, <laughs> I forgot I don't have a double jump right now. We want to be going through here since this area is going to be uh, a safe thing. No, it's not. Oh, misunderstanding. See, this is one of the uh, one of the ten percent that uh, I uh, forgot about. So, see, uh, him and I uh, don't remember exactly all. Of it. Uh, hold on. No, let's see. Let me see. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna. Uh, come on, Sanus. Work with me here. We're just gonna do a little bit of pad tracking, collecting uh, yeah, a certain energy tank. And push! We already have two energy tanks. Imagine that. And. Continue backwards, and uh, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, uh, 
let's go through the Ember Door that's here. Where is that? Here? Oh wait, first off, uh, there's uh, a lower thing that we can scan here now. And then we have this door. Which is gonna reveal a more hall tunnel. Which is going... Which is going to lead us to a map station. Strange. All the map stations uh, looks the same here. No matter wh where they are. Kind of strange. Ah, why should I question the uh, video game logic? I mean, if we did that to every game, then we would be going insane. Like, wait, 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 wait. Back off, back off, back off, back off. I think I can. Yes, I can. Ah, oh, jeez. Blue root tree. Yeah, if you like go here, then whoa, everything is so bright blue. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, recommendation: Do not stand in those for long because those can actually kind of irritate your eyes. Just a little bit of a warning. But anyway, here we are. We are. I'm going to be saving, and I'm going to be ending off this uh, recording. So. Uh, well, I hope you've been enjoying these uh, the beginning uh, videos of this Let's Play. And I will be seeing you next time in Metal Prime 2 Wii version. So, adios.